Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make this video um, really, really quickly. Pale Rider, shout out to him, brought this to my attention. Um, this is a fake trihorn dragon. Uh, it, it's there was some um, fake lob packs going around a couple years ago. Simply Unlucky opened a box. Old School Expert opened a box. Maybe a few other people did, and they got some really really good lob fakes um the ultras were really difficult to tell that they were fake but the secrets which i believe the only secret in the box was trihorn dragon was pretty obviously a fake um so if you guys can't already tell that this is fake we'll go over why that is i mean if you look at the back it's very orange. Now you could say uh, it's pictures, lighting, etc., etc. It's hard to tell, but the the biggest giveaway is uh, the secret rare foiling. So if we go here and look at the same seller selling a real copy of Trihorn Dragon, do you see how sparkly that is? Do you see when it hits the light, you can really see the sparkle on the card. Do you see what I'm saying? How pronounced the secret rare foiling is. If we go here and look. It's very dulled out. Um, the colors are also not quite right. The font in the attack and defense is also not quite right. But for someone who doesn't really know too much about old school cards and maybe the history of the fakes, you might see this and you might think this is real and you'll buy it. And someone did. Someone bought this item, uh, I believe yesterday, 150 bucks. It's a real shame. Um, I hope whoever bought this sees this video. This is 100% a fake. You can just go on here and um, compare to really any of these. I mean, even a first ed one. I mean, look at that. Look at the difference between this foiling and the colors. And you see how clear and, and bold the attack and defense uh, font is. And you see how that's kind of cartoony. It looks kind of bad. And again, you can say lighting, but again, the back is also a dead giveaway. Um, I mean, look at the back here. It's way, way too orange. You guys got to be really careful, especially with these old school cards. Um, LOB has a lot of fakes out there. I'm not sure if whoever made these fakes for LOB made MRD or anything more than that. Um, the other thing you have to watch out for, and we'll touch on it really quick, Oricas. So I've seen some people selling Oricas as real. I've seen a post on Facebook on someone who bought an Orica, um, well, who, who bought what they thought was a real card, and it turned out later that um, someone told them that it was an Orica. Now, it's very good that these sellers here are telling you that it's fake an Orica, but someone who is less um, honest and has no integrity could go and buy this, maybe put it in a collection. Or just try to straight up sell you this as a fake, as a real DDS Blue Eyes. I mean, it looks really good. Other than the fact that it's extremely glossy, it's a very good fake. Um, you know, the prismatic's right, the text is right. Um, every, everything's right about it except the glossiness. And the glossiness is part of the production. You know, they have to take multiple parts of a card in order to get it to be like this. So just be really careful out there. Um, I, I think that if someone who's never owned a, D, a real DDS Blue Eyes would come across one of these Blue Eyes, they, they, they could think that it's real. Um, and that's because these Game Boy promos were printed on a different kind of stock, a much glossier stock. Um, and may, maybe we can show a good example. Just take, uh, I'm looking for a picture of the back. Uh, it's hard to see. But you can kind of see it in this picture how the shine hits it. The stock of these cards are a lot glossier. But this one's way too glossy. So, um, you know, as, as Yu-Gi-Oh! gets more and more expensive and these higher-end cards get more and more expensive, people are going to start faking them, try to make a quick buck on them. So be very careful. You know, ask around. Um, you know, generally, if it's too good to be true, then it generally is. Ask around, you know, post some pictures on Reddit or, or even ask me. You know, I'll be willing to try to verify 
um, some cards for you, but you know this is this is bad. Um, that trihorn dragon that sold that's really really bad, and and I feel bad for the person who paid. However much they paid, it looks like the seller accepted the best offer. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't pay anything for this. It's not a real card. It's a real, real shame. That um, I, I'm gonna give the seller the benefit of the doubt that they did not know that this was fake. This magic princess person, whoever they are, I know they buy collections, and they um, they just resell the cards. So they they, they might very well not know that this card is a fake. So. Um, that's all I had for this video. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, hopefully whoever bought this card will come to realize that this is not a real Trihorn Dragon. Um, hopefully, the seller does not have additional fakes, um, but I'll, I'll keep a lookout for that and I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.